For these next few movies on mixing, we're going to take a look at a session that was tracked in a studio in the San Francisco Bay Area of a song written by uh, Bay Area songwriter Emmett Schneider. The song is called Put Your Phone Down and Drive, and it's a kind of hard southern rock comical song about um, a motorcyclist riding on the freeway and being run off the road by someone in a car on their cell phone. And I'll warn you that it does feature some profanity, but it, I think it's a, a kind of funny, hard-driving tune. Um, and more importantly, it provides us with a real Pro Tools session that we can take a look at and alter um, and mix and get a really great sound. Basically, to take something that's very rough, mix it down, and get something that's very polished. So I've taken a look at the session, and I didn't track this particular session. And it looks like the engineer tracked in a very traditional way, which is to track all the drum parts here separately. So this is an entire drum kit. This looks like the first eight to 10 tracks. Vocal parts separately, these uh, Vox 1 and 2. Guitar parts, there's a lot of guitar parts because the songwriter is a guitarist and he really wanted this to be a, a song in, a, in a, again, the traditional, um, kind of southern rock vein where there's a, a heavy solo and there's one bass track and from my understanding and talking with the engineer the bass track was a DI a tube DI into Pro Tools so a direct in um, with a tube which and it sounds okay and the guitar parts are all tracked separately and here in the notes we're given in some information about the type of cabinet that um, the engineer used. So we could take a look into a little bit. I've already put markers down on each of the different song locations and one thing about this particular uh, session is that it was not tracked to a click so our main time scale is just minutes and seconds and so we can't use at least right now the grid to do precise editing with bars and beats but that's actually good because we can get into how to use Beat Detective in later movies to essentially create a grid off of the kick and the snare. The kick being on one and three, the snare being on two and four. Let's just take a little listen to what we have so far. I've got the memory locations brought up and you can access that by going to Window, Memory Locations or Command and the number five on the keypad. And I want to emphasize that none of this is mixed everything is going out of the monitor outs everything is panned dead center everything is turned up to the same level and this is fine because you know we're not mixing yet so this is what we would expect when tracking uh, or at the end of a tracking session <laughs> Okay, we won't listen to the whole song right now, um, but you can get the vibe. It's hard, it's driving, which makes a lot of sense because the song is about driving. And um, in talking with the songwriter when he gave me the session, he said that he really wanted the guitars to scream, if you will, and he wanted the piece to pump a lot more. So those are some of the things that we'll be taking into account when we do editing. And keeping in mind these videos are educational, we're going to do just some things merely for the fact that you should know how to do certain actions. But the one thing we'll do in this video is essential to all Pro Tools sessions, and we'll set up a master fader. The master fader uh, shows the level of all the tracks summed together. So it'll give us the final um, levels of our entire session. It's how we want to make sure that we keep enough headroom for mastering and we don't clip. So to create a master fader, you create a new stereo master fader. And here it is at the bottom. 
I'll just say master instead of master one. And it is red in color. And you can check the output of the master fader as control room. Those are my monitors here in the room. You can't set the input in the master fader. So now when we play the session, let's start at intro. <laughs> I can attenuate the entire session by drawing the master fader up and down. This will prove helpful for practicality here in these videos because I can turn it down to talk to you, but also it helps to attenuate the overall level of the tune. Okay, and now in future movies we'll talk about uh, volume and pan automation, plugins, uh, submixing, printing effects, and all of that great stuff.